Hey YouTube, this your girl. Work hard, play hard. Right now, this is a um, get ready with me makeup and hair video. Um, yes, better known as Tawanda. So I woke up like this. <laughs> yeah, this is me. Wild hair, don't care in the morning. So I'm gonna start with this Urban Decay the slick lotion for my face it's a uh, primer for your makeup it helps tone down the grease the oils that you know if you have naturally oily skin which i do i got a t-zone right around my nose and my mouth that's my heavy 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 oil spots so yeah i'm gonna um rub this in my face real good my primer to prime down this um my oily skin before I start with my makeup. Make sure ain't no crust in my eye. Then I'm gonna start with this um, Makeup Forever HD foundation. So I'm just gonna squeeze that on my face, around my cheeks my forehead, my chin, just wipe the rest of it on there. I'm gonna blend this in really good with my Sigma brush. I like patting it around first just to get it to all over my face. So I usually pat it all over with the brush. Then I'm gonna start buffing it in in a circle, in a circular motion. How you guys doing? Um, this is my first get ready with me video. I consider myself like a new YouTuber. So I'm just showing y'all a little bit of myself, how I get ready before I go out into the world. Sometimes, not every day, but some days when I wanna wake up and put on some makeup and fix myself up, this is what I do. Some days I just probably go natural. Some days I probably just put my hair in a ponytail, throw on a hat, wear my hair any type of way. Now that's the front. Um, LA Girl Pro Concealer and the shade Fron. I use Fron to um, really go around my uh, eyebrows just to um, sharpen them up, make them look nice and arched. They're not really arched, but I pluck them with tweezers from time to time to give it like a little, um, I guess a little uh, curve in them. One eyebrow I got a good curve, the other one just like straight, so you know. I'm gonna line this out real quick with this front. Front is a lighter color, so it's gonna bring out my eyebrows a little bit better than using a shade that's closer to my skin tone. I'm gonna use it as a um, prep tool for my eyebrows. I mean, my um, eyeshadow. So I'm gonna kind of use it almost as like a base on my eyeshadow to lighten it up. So when I do put my shadow on, it can have a little bit of, um, it'll, you know, and here stick closer, nicer. Right there, I think I'm using Beautiful Bronze, my next one, yeah, Beautiful Bronze. I use that underneath my eye. trying to figure out should I use beautiful bronze or should I use toast but I think I went with beautiful bronze than toast toast is a shade lighter than beautiful bronze and you can see how that goes right with my complexion almost a beautiful bronze that is like really close to my skin tone so I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes lighten it up some underneath there Next, I'm getting my sponge. No, next I'm gonna drink some water. Yeah, I'm gonna work this in real nice and good. 
blend it with my blending sponge. I like the way that blended in because it kind of went, everything like blended in real good. I love using a blending sponge. Right now I'm about to use the translucent Lacombe powder. I think this is like the darkest shade that what this does the powder it's almost like a baking powder so i'm gonna tap that on around my eyes let it bake for a little while it cut out all the creases that or the little lines that might come up underneath your eyes or around your eyes and then next i'm using my julia girl palette yes i love this palette because of the makeup is so um vibrant the blues the pinks the greens every color in this palette is just like nice i love this palette and um one of my favorite colors i think is this brown i use that as a um to put over my eyes like a base color almost so i'm using another sigma blending brush so i can blend this in real quick I'm going to blend this in circular motions around my eye. You got to knock it off. I got to knock some of this. It do have fallout, so I got to knock it off. When you see me go to the side, I'm knocking it off. Now, this is just giving me some color from putting on that um, front foundation. Now, I'm about to darken it up just a little bit. Give me a little bit of color on there before I move on to my next color. I will you leave in the description what color I'm actually using but as you can see that's another color that's close to my complexion so yeah that would be like my base color on my eyebrows eyelash eye, eye, um, eyeshadow I like the way my eyebrows turned out too, just by putting that little bit of uh, concealer around it. Is that this really does have some fallout to it, so you gotta hit that brush before you put it on your eyes, just to knock that dust off. I want color, no dust. Next, I think I'm going to go. Alrighty. Now, I'm about to start with this. Um, I'm about to swatch this for you. I'm going to swatch this uh, color. I really don't know what color I'm going to use. So, I'm going to think I'm going to swatch this brown color. Because that, that would be a color that I would use every day going to work. Like, just a nice regular color. Close to my skin tone again. But, I don't know. Let me do a second swatch for y'all. Yeah, this would be a color I would have worked. Definitely a color, everyday color that I would first go to, but I think I'm gonna live out the box. I'm gonna play with this blue for a minute. So let's swatch this blue and see how it look. Yeah, I think we are gonna play with this today. I'm gonna put this on here today to um, give it some life. So I'm, yeah, I'm going with this blue color up at the top. Now, next, I'm going to put on my um, NYX uh, base, eyeshadow base. Um, it's not the waterproof one. This is just a regular eyeshadow base, NYX, high definition. And I like the little brush, the little um, in that comes on there. It makes it way easy mad easy to put this on like your eyes when you're about to put your shadow on i didn't cut my crease really big i did i stayed like nice and low something like small 
and I'm about to go in with that blue pat it on nice and good I'm gonna put another color on here too because I think I don't just want to go with one color using the same brush that's the other side and put some like a champagne color at the end then I'm gonna blend it with the blue again so it could like blend in I'm gonna put the base on the other eye kind of got it on my eyelash but I'm putting on lashes anyway going with that blue pat that on real good this blue is popping it's so vibrant put the champagne on the other side then blend that nice and good so you can't see two different lines so next I always go back and um, go back on top so I could blend the two colors and now this is my glitter I don't know I guess I wanted to put some glitter on there so right now I'm about to put on this little eye magic glitter palette I got this palette from off of YouTube maybe about four or five months ago I really don't use it but since it had the blue color in there I'm gonna go with that blue color and try to put on my lashes to spice it up some not a lot just to give it like a little line right here that's the glitter primer so I put down the same stick same um, eyeshadow stick that I was using I'm gonna dip that right inside of the um, blue glitter and just dab some glitter over over that uh, eyeshadow a little bit of blue glitter just to give it a little sparkle now this is some blue eyeliner I love using it instead of using black eyeliner I use a blue eyeliner over that just to give it some color that's the fallout I'm showing you so now anytime I have fallout so anytime I go with my Mac back with my Sigma powder brush and I'm just about to put this Mac foundation powder foundation on this is just gonna blend out everything tone everything nice and even right over the foundation that I use I'm just sharpening up my eyebrows with this eyebrow pencil making a little bit darker and deeper giving it a little bit more shape now I'm using my mascara I'm moving too fast to see what kind of mascara I think it's um L'Oreal yeah that's the L'Oreal mascara pull out my lashes before I always put Vaseline on my lips before I put on lipstick so I don't know what I'm doing uh oh I'm moving too fast I'm putting eyeliner underneath now I'm using that same blue eyeliner underneath my eye just a little bit just to give it a little bit of blue underneath I'll never put the usually put the shadow in there I put some blue eyeliner underneath there So that's my Anastasia um, lipstick palette. I picked that up at TJ Maxx uh, about last year, maybe around this time. That's my lipstick uh, brush. That was a lipstick palette that I picked up. It came with a brush, but who knows what happened to the brush. So I'm going to play with some colors real quick. I never really get a chance to play with colors in my um, Anastasia lip, lip palette. Right now I'm put this purplish blue on here and see how that look on my lips. And don't go with the eye color, I just want to see how this look. Now I think I'm going to lighten it up because I got white in there. So I call myself lighten it up with the white. This is some Urban Decay um, lipstick. And I'm putting over there. I'm going to wipe that off real quick because it doesn't go with it. 
I use Vaseline to always wipe off my lips. Somehow we use the Vaseline and makes it better. So now I'm going with this dark burgundy color, I want to say. So yeah, I'm going to go with this dark. I'm going to put the pink on there just to lighten it up some. Yeah, I don't know. I might, it's, it's lightening up some. I'm going to put the Vaseline on there and wipe it off real quick. That's my MAC, uh, MAC lipstick. I wouldn't say it's a lipstick. I'd say it's more like a lip gloss almost, but it's matte, so it wouldn't be a gloss. I'm going to use all four of those colors. First, I go in with the dark, then I go in with like the tannish color. I let it dry for a little while, and I play with it with my lips to blend it. I think right here I'm gonna have like a natural look to it, natural tone. Hopefully it should uh, work out good. Now I'm going with a dark color, dark light burgundy, and put the pink in the middle. I'm gonna put the purple in the middle too. Let that blend. Now I'm about to throw on my some lashes. I am not good with lashes at all. I'm still here looking like how you open up the box. Why well, you like that blend? See how it's like light at the light and then it go darker around the end. So I'm trying to put these lashes on. Bear with me with this one right here because I'm definitely not good at lashes. Okay, it looked like I did good with that one. That end piece, I can never get the end piece to stay on. Something about the end piece act like it never want to stick on. See, that's my second time. I don't pour too much glue out. Trying to get it tacky by blowing it. Okay, here I go again. Here we go again. Let's try to get this last one. I really like that lip color though. That, that's a nice summer lip color. Just by playing around. Okay, I got the lash on, so I'm going in with this uh, Maybelline Colossal uh, Mascara. Here we go, about to take this lip off, put the Vaseline on. The Vaseline makes, makes um, when you take this lipstick off, so easy, easy. Instead of like wiping real hard and hurting your lips, throw some Vaseline on there, and it's gonna wipe right back off, nice and natural. Now I'm gonna go in my natural look that I normally go in. My dark brown, my everyday color. I use my brown around the ends. I call this, I'll be lining it with the brown. I'm gonna go in the middle with this like um, nude color. And before I do anything, I let it sit and dry. Get a little bit tacky. Now I'm gonna start playing with this hair real quick. The hair is gonna be the quickest. My hair is way quicker than my, um, my makeup. Throw a couple of flat irons around here. And I am a natural, I do not do perms. I haven't had a perm in maybe uh, three years at the most. So all this is my natural hair. I'm gonna have to show a video when I wash it and how it shrink all the way back now. I love this big blue comb because it's almost like a pick. And my favorite flat iron is this flat iron brush right here. <laughs> it's a brush, but it may seem like a flat iron. You put your flat iron on there and then you brush it through. And your hair just come out like 
nice and some people use a rat tail comb i don't i like the flat iron brush i ordered that from off of, uh amazon but i think they sell that in the hair store too like it brushes your hair while you flat iron it so i'm gonna take real thick pieces just yeah one stroke maybe two strokes on or some but really just one stroke i'm parting real thick pieces i'm not doing like no nothing real thin thick pieces all the way around I like brushing it out with the brush too before I um, put the flat iron on there. Like with this flat iron brush, cause I'll, it smooths it out before I can even um, flat iron it. That was really a thick piece. I think I had to go over that twice. That piece was like really thick. Okay. Another part. Now I'm about to work on my side. This is where I usually like flip my hair over to the side and flat iron everything to one side so it almost look like a bob style or something like that i haven't had my hair cut in maybe a couple of years so i know it's time for me to clip these ends or have somebody professionally clip these ends Yep, I'll make that bang fall over that way. Now I'm about to take this Murray's edge control and slap this on my edges real good, real nice and thick. I'm supposed to tie it up. When you put this on here, you tie it up, your edges is good. This is good for people with natural hair. So if I would have tied this up, my edges would have laid down really nice, but I'm trying to do the video so I can't, um, I can't really have time to tie it up right now. Put a little bit of edge control right there. Straighten it out. So I'm almost done. I gotta put my D-Slick um, finishing spray. This right here just finish, keeps the makeup set, setting spray. Just gonna set the makeup so my face won't be oily. So here I go, I'm ready to go, hair done. About to spray this chi oil on there. This is really good to hold your curls in, hold your hair in place. So, yep. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Work hard, play harder. Um, yes, I like the hair, I like the way everything turned out. Thank you for watching.